in alhamdulillah in ahmadu all praises are due to allah and so we praise him wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh and we rely upon him and we seek his forgiveness wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina and we seek refuge in allah from the evils of ourselves and from the evils of our deeds man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lah Whosoever Allah guides, none can misguide. وَمَنْ يُضْلِنْهُ فَلَا هَادِيَ لَهُ Whosoever Allah misguides, whosoever Allah, uh, subhanAllah, whosoever Allah guides, none can misguide, and whosoever Allah misguides, none can guide. وَأَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَأَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. إِنَّ أَصْدَقَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ Indeed, the most truthful of words is the book of Allah. وَخَيْرُ الْهَدْيُ وَهَدْيُ مُحَمَّدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم And the best of guidance is the guidance of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم وَشَرُّ الْأُمُورِ مُحْدَثَاتُهَا And the most evil matters are the hang-ups, the things people make up in their heads to that prevents them from practicing Islam as it came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم وَكُلُّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَةٍ And each of these hang-ups are a bid'ah and every bid'ah is a misguidance, and every misguidance is in the hellfire. أما بعد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون. All you who believe, fear Allah as He should be feared, and do not die except in the state of Islam. الحمد لله رب العالمين. I recently got the news of those tornadoes uh, that went through the south from Texas to Florida. Killing, as the news says, four people and injuring 50 people. Uh, indeed, chaos seems to be spreading in the land, both from natural disasters and man made disasters. Wars, increasing wars, increasing killing. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. As Muslims, um, we should also be aware that our Muslim brothers in Ethiopia are also facing calamities the, they have had 30 masajid destroyed and Muslims dying over the past few weeks people who would go to Jum'ah and can't get out of the masjid people who extrajudicial, extrajudicial killings of Muslims and all these kind of oppression against Muslims in Ethiopia may Allah aid our brothers in Ethiopia Alhamdulillah, as Muslims when we wake up, we must acknowledge that we wake up into war, a multifaceted war, a war on many fronts and battles in many places and directions coming at us. It is of the guidance of the Prophet that we make two rak'at before Fajr. And these two rak'at of sunnah, these two rak'at of voluntary prayers that we make, the Prophet ﷺ used to, in these two rak'at, the very first thing after Surah Al-Fatiha would recite is Surah Al-Kafirun. And this, and this is a guidance from the Prophet ﷺ, a guidance from Allah that puts us uh, in the right state of mind in the morning when we wake up, in that Allah subhanahu wa reveals in Surah Al-Kafirun, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ Say, O oh, disbelievers, that we put, as Muslims were putting the disbelievers on notice. That we don't worship what you worship, uh, whether that's dollars or, or anything that any disbeliever worships. We're not worshiping what they worship. وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ And we don't, and... You guys don't worship what we worship, but this statement is putting putting things in perspective that that whatever you guys worship or whatever you guys say, you're not our friends. You might say we worship the same God to trick us that we're on this, you know, we're the same or to trick us to come to your religion, but that's not the case. You know, we're not friends. We're not going to be friends as long as you worship what you worship. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. وَلَن تَرْضَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُودَ وَلَن نَصَارِ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ And the Jews and the Christians won't be pleased with you, won't be happy with you until you follow their religion. And so this is the first. And so when we wake up in the morning, you know, 
one of the battles we and part of its, part of this war is against ourselves our desires and it's also against shaitan and the devils the devils of the jinn and humankind uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna shaitan lakum aduwun fattakhiduhu aduwa indeed shaitan the devil the satan is your enemy and so take him as your enemy inna ma yad'u hizbahu inna ma yad'u hizbahu yakuna min ashab al-sa'id indeed he calls his party to be a part of the blazing fire and so shaitan is not our friend the devils of humanity are not our friends uh, and so we are to we are put on notice ourselves that we must be at ready uh, to uh, we're part of this war uh, shaitan is our enemy our enemies are clear and we can't sit back and do nothing we can't sit back and expect not to be part of it because we are part of it Allahumma اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الاحياء منهم والاموات او الله forgive the muslim men and the muslim women the believing men and the believing women those who are alive and those who are dead amen الحمد لله رب العالمين اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمد رسول الله او فرز ادعو الى الله the lord of all realities i bear witness that there is no god but allah and that muhammad is his messenger before I close today, I want to announce that uh, we have a community fund that we're asking brothers to, you know, whatever amount of money they can to put in it that amount once a week, every Jum'ah, perhaps $5 or even $1, how, whatever amount you can give. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We also have a fund to, that goes towards opening a new masjid here in Arcadia, Florida. Uh, whatever funds you can put in that also please put in that uh, our organization is a 501c3 so if you want to donate a fair amount and want to have it tax deductible we can provide that to you alhamdulillah and i end with this hadith of the prophet in which he says all people all humans wake up in the morning and engage in a sale or a trade of themselves and the result of that trade or sale is that they'll save themselves or that they'll doom themselves